So we've just added in, this is, I believe, video six. We've just added in our data set. So we can actually see our data from our SQL database that we created. And notice that I expanded this all the way to the corners. So by default, let's go ahead and let's run this real quick so we can see it once again. So we've got our data here, but what happens if I expand it? Notice that it doesn't expand with the window, but that's probably something we want to be able to do. We don't want to have to always scroll. So what you'll do is you'll come over here onto the properties. Make sure that your data set is selected. You'll come under the properties, and then we're going to scroll down. It says usually like left and top. or top and left. So we're going to get the anchor underneath layout, locate anchor, and then click on the drop down. And then we want to anchor it to the top. So top, left, and right. And then we save that and let's go ahead and click start. Now as we expand it, the form scales with the window. Not vertically because we haven't set it to the bottom. So you can anchor it to the bottom if you want. Now you technically can manipulate data freely on this form however you feel like it. You can come in here and double click and change something, say see mores, click off of it, and now it's automatically updated. You can add in a field, you can delete a field, you can save data, you can scroll through different bits of data. But we're actually going to take this a step further. So continue in the next video to see the additional features that we can add to our form.